as Wally bravely sails in the sea, following the trajectory of the sun as it goes horizontally across the sky. He travels with the party in tow towards the location of their home. Uh, but when a storm kicks up, uh, Wally, maybe not the best suited for this sort of travel, uh, manages to run the boat uh, against the, the rocky cliffs of an island, crashing into the beach. And hold on, I got a thing here. Now, I, I did have a better setup for this, but I was maybe not the greatest steward of it. <laughs> Where is it? Damn it. Not this song. Anyway, I don't need it. Uh, El Chad. Yes. You wake up laying on the beach. A shadowy figure stands above you uh, with a with a dark robe sort of uh, uh, over his face as he goes, are you lost, traveler? Uh, I'm going to look around. Uh, do, do I did I lose all my memories? Uh, you did not, but you see your boat uh, sort of run a, a ground behind you. Uh, some of your friends still unconscious from the pretty violent crash of the boat. Uh, yes. Yes, I am lost. Well, if you're lost, have nowhere to go. Well, then there is. It seems fate has brought you here. Oh, as he steps closer to you. For you have found yourself in a place predestined for you. And he rips off the robe, revealing a, a white-skinned, like, pale-skinned man uh, wearing a bright, almost blinding, a golden-orange shirt uh, with sunglasses and a coconut. As he goes, as you find yourself in Casa de Osni, the world's premier island resort dedicated to the god Yasni. As funded by the Martoon Merchants Guild and by Elysium Financial Holding, I welcome you to this island paradise. Uh, and he opens his arms and you see behind him through the jungle what looks like a basically a resort. And you see just slightly off from the cliffs to your right, is a dock with just boats. It seems like Wally just ran aground in the complete <laughs> wrong spot on this island. <laughs> do, do I know what Casa de Yazni is? Have I heard of this before? Um, make a religion check or okay. a history check, whichever is better for you. Like I'll give you check. advantage because it is a Yaznik. Oh, oh yeah. crit, crit. You fucking know what Casa de Yazni is. It is, you know, it was at a time like the party place to go um you remember probably uh, going on some sabbaticals basically here uh during your pilgrimage to become a paladin um it became a little run down for a little while but uh it seems like it has uh, sort of sprung again a lot of repairs have been made around this uh this island um as it seems like the paladins did kind of trash it uh, at least in your day. El Chad's going to look up. He's going to get... Come, come closer. Ah, yes. I, he slinks closer to you. Um, his body you. seems to move in like this almost uh, jelly way. Like it seems like he can shift, uh, implying that he is a changeling. Yes? I need you to tell me where the bar is. Why, there's many bars amongst Casa de Yasni. Is there one in particular you're interested in? Nope, need not tell me. I the already closest. know which one you would like to go. 
to Eel's Rest, and he sort of uh, gestures to a cliffside tavern you can see sort of hanging over uh, one of the docks nearby. Okay, El Chad just immediately says, thank you, friend, and starts running. All right, off, as off you run, dogs. you, like, you step on Baps. Like, <laughs> you can air out of him. <laughs> running off towards Eel's end. Uh, the rest of the party begins to sort of wake up. Uh, Baps, you see that Na is sitting next to you, drinking out of a coconut. What are you doing? What is that? That can't, that can't be good for you. Eh? She just shrugs. Where, where the hell are we? You see El Chad running towards a tavern up on the cliffside. How, um, that. How, how did we get on this beach? You see Wally hanging off the front of the ship, like unconscious from having run it aground. <laughs> like we all just were, <laughs> were, were standing on it in the storm and just were thrown over forward. Yes. Um, you remember having run to the deck of the ship before it crashed into this rock face. <laughs> How does the ship look? Not that Babs knows a lot about these things. Um, it looks like it is not seaworthy. It has a big hole in the side of it. You can assume that's probably why some of the people in the lower deck got thrown out. Um, it doesn't look like it's irreparable. It just looks like it's damaged uh, in a way that will take maybe a, a couple days to repair. Well, that, that's not good. Baps, Baps huh? stands up. He's um, his armor is shredded, so he's just wearing the only other clothes that he owns, and his helmet with the plume on it. The other only other clothes that he owns is an old pair of striped pajamas. That uh, they're they're probably like a decade old. Wow. Well. And, nah uh, hands you your little hat with the tassel on the end. Oh, th th thank you. Uh, yeah, B Baps p puts that over his kind of corpulent pale face and, and grabs the halberd next to him, which, you know, is gigantic, but uh, mm -hmm. it it shrinks when he holds it, uh, when he picks it up. Oh. Um, oh. Where is everybody? Does Bab see anybody else on the beach? Uh, looking across the beach, you find Armed. Um, Armed is laying at the basically the foot of this sort of sharp rock. It looks like he had landed like right, basically almost hit it, but landed just a little bit in front of it. Uh, Babs will check to see if he's alive. Armed, what are you dreaming about? I was just gonna say, <laughs> Armed was gonna, he was gonna look up and see uh, Babs in his striped pajamas and, and helmet, and go and look around at the beach and go, "Am I dreaming?" No. Oh, th th terrible news! We're, what? We're, we're we're stranded on a d deserted island. I look around. You see El Chad running playfully up a, a flight of stairs, heading towards a tavern. Oh. I think I need one of those. Okay. And Armed just sort of like slowly gets up. He's like, when you get to up, see you're still alive, Babs. Y you too. I was going to say, as you get up, uh, Armed, you feel a different type of sand underneath you. You feel like Jeeves cushioned the blow. <laughs> uh, but Paris. Jeeves, no. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. Well, I won't put them together just yet. I could use a break. Nas gonna climb 
this rock. All right. <laughs> what? Which one would you rather do? I figured I'd let you guys decide, like, kind of which characters you wanted to mess with. But considering this was mostly a Yasnik place, I figured, Data, you wanted to be El Chan. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what is a Droga or a, or Marine? Like, which one would you rather be? Um, Droga is currently reliving the fact that he's nearly died to uh, Talos several times and he's fretting over like his family and trying to contact Sigtir. So I'm going to let him worry about that on the back burner as I'm going to play. I know what Droga's doing. He's underneath this rock trying to get Na to come down. Yes. Okay. As the father is going to, like the father mode is going to step in as a uh, Marine is just kind of laying where like, on that portion of the beach where, like, the water is just, like, lapping over her. And just kind of, like, at, like, at a distance from everybody. Like, she's in, she's fucking loving this. But if anybody gets closer, she's immediately going to go deadpan. Uh, like, crab scuttles over you. She does not care. She, like she, she like she's just like enjoying the water and like the the ray of sun like blasting like like full on her as she actually gets rejuvenated for being in salt water. Night. Uh, Brom or Muse? Which one are we going? With? I'll I'll go with Muse. All right, Muse. Like you, like lift your head up as you were face first in the sand. <laughs> Pops up the sand out of her throat. Looking around, you see that you are on a, a beach. Uh, you do recognize the beach. Um, it is Casa de Yasni, which is off of the coast of Talambrine. It's like within eye shot of Talambrine. Oh, um, great. Bunch of Yasni pricks. This will be fun. Mm. You she do remember like... hearing hearing a story about a guy who cleaned up the island? Um, like there was a bunch of trash here that the Yasnik Paladins had left, and he had cleaned up the island and mm. gotten a house. Yeah. Uh, but <laughs> that was a while ago, so the island looks pretty good now. Uh, she's gonna look for the cat. The cat also lifts its head out of the sand. Wow. Come on, Tubby. Let's go find everyone else. It like leaps up onto your shoulder. She pulls up the hood and starts walking to find everyone else. All right. And then uh, Bloco or Vinny. I think Vinny will uh, have some time at the resort. He's earned some recoup time. Getting laid out last time. Yeah, you you need the uh, the relaxingness. Yeah, he needs the R and R. Uh, Vinny, you wake up and like this one is like on top of you, looking down in that kind of awkward way because you you know you very rarely have you ended up on your back like this, and not like uh, Dimwan is just standing on you, looking straight down. So it's that kind of like you could see Dimwan's little gut. <laughs> hey, 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 uh, yeah, okay, yeah, good morning to you too. A little close, right, right when I'm getting up. I thought you were fucking dead. Man, that would have been really embarrassing if you, you know, like slayed that demigod and then died in a boat wreck. Yeah, I guess that. Wait, we went a boat. Oh shit! Yeah, that would have been fucked. The count's hanging by the rope, or by the boat in a net, <laughs> and like Bloco and <laughs> never trying to cut him out of it. Well, it looks like they got everything handled over there. What's? I mean, he's gonna look around at the rest of everybody on the beach, going every everywhere. 
Nah seems to be uh, doing pretty well, considering. I guess. Yeah. He'll, yeah, he'll walk over to Babs. She, she, she seems in, in good spirits, and uh, I guess she's at the, just at the pinnacle of this, and she drinks her coconut drink and then throws the coconut husk at Dro Droga. <laughs> Plunks off of Droga's head, and then Droga just, you keep it, see him waving his arms frantically and shaking his head no, and Na is shaking her head yes, and like doing that kind of thing where she's swinging her arms like she's about to jump. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and she, like, she's fine. <laughs> You'll just hear him, I'll so you. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm very, very relieved. Thank you for look, looking after. Well, you know, I, I did my best. Uh, I'm glad it was enough this time. I'll, you know, didn't really see uh, some of that shit coming. What, what, what all happened? Well, Here. there was like this demonic spider thing. And then I almost got burned alive. And uh you guys begin chatting up the uh the events of the campaign. Yeah. I imagine also on the boat ride you guys have sort of uh passed information, right? Let's uh let's get a drink and we'll talk about it. And I need to uh, find some armor. Sounds great. Now, Chad, as you're talking, um he goes, ah yeah, I didn't introduce myself. I'm Razzle D. Dazzleton. Wait, this he jumped up to be at the bar? Uh yeah, he's walking okay. up the oh, stairs okay. with okay. you. Ah, oh, yes. Yes, good good to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah, uh, you you here for the Yasnik worship things or the beer? No, honestly, just the sites. I'm the branch manager of uh from an Elysium Financial Holding for this island. Oh, oh. I'm glad you uh glad you restored it a bit. I heard it was uh well heard it got a little rowdy here it did get a little rowdy uh oh i assume you want to talk to the yasnik dd dd uh, the designated deacon of course the one oh, in charge of all the sort of uh assignment paperwork you know the boring stuff well i don't know that stuff sounds kind of boring in there there is a bar I over here well go drink at the bar have fun i'll let him know you're here and uh yeah. he'll come and get you yeah, you could come for a drink. Sounds like a plan. Well, you you have a great time here, champ. I got some other things to do. I'll go swing by there, let him know, and then uh, I'm sure he'll make his way down here at some point. Oh, all right. Well, sounds great, Razzle. Uh, have a good day. And he, he sort of, aloha. And he sort of does this weird thing where he puts his pinky and his thumb out and kind of shakes him oh. uh, before running off. Um, as you find yourself here, was he was he making a Y with his hands? Yeah. Oh, okay. He was doing. Do, do they have the a, a Yasni with his hands? Yeah, he's doing this. <laughs> it's the Yasnik. Yeah. <laughs> and praise the sun. Oh, okay. Um, you find yourself in front of a, a pretty large tavern. Um, it's pretty ornate. You actually know that the Eel's End is a tavern that's been here for quite some time. Um, it's changed owners a couple of times in that span. Um, the notable feature of it is it's got real cheap, lots of booze. They actually serve food, which is kind of rare amongst the other bars. And there is a giant uh, dragon head and spine hanging from the ceiling. Uh, if you look on the second floor, which is over here, you'll see it. Um, and it is an inn. Like your fully stocked fully. place. Yeah, we can that? grab a bed. Mm -hmm. um, as you're here, you know that notice um, sort of further down in some of the other bars, you know, it gets kind of like busy. Uh, there's a lot of people like milling about. 
Um, this part seems not as busy. It seems like people are focusing closer to the dock and then working their way out towards here. Oh, God. I'm walking in. You see quite a quite a large spectacle, big banquet hall. Um, some staff kind of come by you, uh, give a, a playful wave. They do the, the Yasnik A um, and kind of go on by. All right, I'm going to slowly make my way uh, way through the bar here. Mm -hmm. Or up to the bar here. As you make your way through the bar, you'll see uh, what looks like a pair of old dwarves uh, sort of laughing. What looks like some, well, I can only describe them as Yakuza guys. Oh, some uh, Hanging by. Yeah, and they're eating and they're being a bit oh, rowdy. Wow. They're being kind of loud. And then on your right are two familiar faces. Oh, no. <laughs> As oh, you see, shit. Beryl and Wilbur. Uh, they're eating a meal uh, over at this corner of the bar. Oh, my God. All right. All right. I'm going to I'm going to go up to the bar and I'm going to get some drinks for him. Uh, as you walk up to the bar, there is a, a rather large uh, orc woman. Smash. And she goes, oh, uh, mm -hmm. hey, what can I do for you, paladin? Ah, uh, yes, yes, I need a, a three uh, looks at the menu. Margaritas. The margaritas? Yes. Yeah, we can do that. Yeah. Uh, so that's just going to be your starter, right? Yeah. All right. Yeah. And she uh, goes behind the bar and kind of with uh, with quickness and finesse, she manages to, to whip you up three margaritas. All right. Here you go. All right. Uh, I'll, I'm going to pay for those. And I'm, El Chad's very confused this whole time. He's wondering why the fuck there's an orc working behind the bar at a Yasnik. Uh, you do remember at your time here, there wasn't an orc in charge. It was a, a different person. Okay. Interesting. Oh, and what was your name? Oh, I'm uh, Ashra. Ashra ah. Bonebreaker. Pl pleasure to meet you. Pleasure to meet you. Normally I get, you know, weird looks from Yasnik Paladin, so it's good to talk to someone that doesn't tell me to go fuck myself. Yeah, it's just weird to see a orc at a Yasnik retreat. Is it? I mean, yeah, no, I'm just fucking with you. Yeah, I know <laughs> the Yasnik Paladins and the Orc tribe uh, wars and whatnot have been quite a pain in the ass, but hey, these are new times, right? Yeah. Well, we all like drink. Yeah. Well, anyway, I got to go say hi to my friends over here. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, El Chad's going to hang out with uh, Beryl and Wilbur, his, his best friends. As you come walking up, they're like, well, I don't know, Wilbur. This is, I, I don't know where we go from here. Well, I guess we'll just have to do what we gotta do. And they're like eating this pig and they're not even using utensils. They're just ripping big chunks off and eating it. <laughs> well, there are bears. Well, I know where you guys gotta go. Gotta come have a drink. Woo, well, 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 slap my knee and call me sideways. If it ain't El Chad. Well, uh, Chad, it's good to see you. Yeah, I thought you guys were gone forever. No. Glad, glad to see you made it out okay. Yeah, it seems like we're destined to, to meet up once again. Oh, Shadow Lord be praised. Yeah. Oh, you guys are funny. You uh, Sit yourself down a spell and we can tell a tale of what happened when we separated our paths. For sure. 
Yeah. And he, he they they scoot over to let you in. So Make I'll a perception start. check real quick. All right. Uh, 14. 14. You notice right here on the table a little little figure moving around. Oh, yeah? And it's the old man. He's tiny. He's <laughs> eating some of the, the meat. Shopkeep? The old shopkeeper. Oh, no. He's eating some of the meat and he's tiny. <laughs> <laughs> and when he sees you, he scurries around the side. You lose sight of him. <laughs> who else <laughs> the rest of you show up yeah Babs Babs was going in he's he's, he's gonna let Droga watch Na for a minute as you round the bin Na jumps from the rock <laughs> she, she, she'll, she'll be fine Uh, yep, uh, Babs, and I guess Vinny, uh, uh, you know, next to him, and, and, and Marina, are you coming? Do I have to leave the water? Uh, no. No, you don't. Uh, we're in a place I should probably unwind, yes? Uh, yeah. Definitely. Um, Want a drink? Yep, I haven't slept in two weeks. Why not? As, like, Maureen's gonna hop up and... Uh, I forgot to say, she doesn't actually have her armor. Her armor's on, like, the, the bits of the boat that are left behind. So, whenever we get that fixed, it'll be back on the boat. So, she's walking around with the sword in her back and no armor or shield. Yeah, no armor, gang. Muse and Ahmed, I imagine you guys are also uh, with the gang. Oh, yeah. They might have been ahead of us, actually. <laughs> Probably. If y'all want to, if y'all want to. We have fast movement. Yeah. Hi, no, I'm sorry. We, we, I mean, she was a little bit far away. Maybe know, they waited for us. Oh. Well, wow. whatever. I'm opening the door. Yeah, yeah, I'm here now. Uh, I'm here now. I'm here now too. So, anyone else woke up in sand too? Yep. Well, oh. didn't didn't wake up, but yes. Oh. oh. Who who the hell again? What? Y you. Me? Actually, that's a good question. Who are you? Yeah, who, who are you? Oh, you don't remember me? Wait a minute. Were you doing something to Ragnar's corpse? Or was that the other person? I'm sorry. I'm listening to Fira's theme from JoJo Bizarre Adventures. As soon as he said that, it hit like the crescendo. Um, no, I mean, I was just taking it because they are probably going to resurrect him. You know, fair so point. Not... But often? I mean, they are, god they are gods after all. And as for who I am, I was with you guys when you guys broke into the tower, and then I kind of got kicked from my home because of you guys, so I kind of just was on the boat because I was getting exiled from... Look, look I home. wasn't a part of that, so I don't know what you're talking I, about, but it sounds I like you're self-incriminating. I mean, I re remember all that. I remember you, but 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 who, who are you? I, I told you, I'm Muse. Well, yeah, yeah. You know what? We can do this over drinks. Let's go get some drinks yeah, yeah. first. I, I want some drinks. This place is n n n nice. As, Give it a as, time. As someone who didn't drink much when I was alive last time, what's a good drink? Bloody Mary. All right. Extra Bloody Marine. But Marine, you, you, you don't... You know, you're, oh, maybe you don't remember that night. What night? Exactly. That's what booze does to you. Yep. All right. <laughs> we'll start no. slow. No, what, wow, what night? Wow, big crowd. 
You guys come in with the merchants? No, we crashed on the beach. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the partying here can get kind of wild. No. You know, we... So bar hopping? Uh, Is there another bar? Yeah. Oh, yeah, there's a hell of a lot of bars. I'm glad you at least came to mine. Uh, we're on the farther edge of town, so people don't come here as quick. But eventually they meander this way. We got food. Hey, let me oh, ask you something. Got you got a Jude. cocktail of the day? Cocktail of the day is always the Radiant Special. All right, I'll take uh, two of those and uh, one for my pal here, and he's going to slap back Babs on the back. All right. Thanks. Two Radiant Specials coming up. And you see her go down, and she pulls out this, like, uh, it looks like a wine bottle, but it's glowing. Uh, she pops it open and pours out this glistening, almost glitter-like uh, uh, liquid um, before she slides you to. All right, that'll be 10 gold apiece. All that'll right. 20 gold. I'll, and I'm Vinny will pay it. And then step out of the way so everybody else can order drinks. Hey, um, friend, I, what? What, what's your name, friend? Oh, I'm Ashra. Oh, nice to meet you. This is, this is a nice place. Um, Thanks. I inherited it from the last owner. Oh, y you said that, that a, a lot of bars? Yeah, yeah, sort of. Um, so we've been through a, a lot recently. Uh, just Haven't asking. we all? Just asking, but we're not in some, like, the dimension of infinite bars, are we? Where we just bar, bar hop for eternity and until the end of time? She slaps her hands on the table. Uh, Who told uh, you? What? What? You gotta, what? you gotta get out. You, you gotta get out. There's, you, you're gonna have to escape. Oh God! If, if you go to every bar. You have to drink at my bar the most, though. Like, you oh. have to drink at every bar, but drink at my bar the most. Come back here and drink more. Like, like twice? How much is much? Twice as much? As much as you can. Oh, God. I I'll have another one, then. If oh, I'm just right. going to slap 10 gold on the... <laughs> she she <laughs> pours you another one. Now nah, I'm just fucking with you. Oh. <laughs> After she takes your money. <laughs> Lighten hey. up. This is a resort. I was just, Have just some checking. fun. Just, just checking. Mm. And Babs is actually he's gonna slide nope. the 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 second one to Marine. She oh. she shakes her head and she reaches over the bar and puts her hand on Babs's shoulder. Dude, calm down. It sounds so nervous, like you've been being chased this whole time. Just relax, all right? You're safe here. It's uh, Resort, we we got it covered. Okay, all right. And then Babs looks over and sees the bears. Yes, <laughs> uh -oh. they're drinking. They have their arms around El Chad and they're like singing. <laughs> <laughs> Our trees are all dead, Barry. Yeah, El Chad's drunk and just ta poorly singing along with them. Yeah. Um, did we did we know they were evil? Now they did say they worship the Shadow Lord. What that uh -huh. meant is entirely up to you guys. Vinny has no idea. He's never seen these bears before. It's like you just think El Chad's wise enough to a bunch of bears. Actually, what does Moose think? Uh, Moose goes up to the bar. Uh, yeah, can I have a raw steak and uh, a Bloody Mary extra bloody? Gives her, right. like, a wink. She she just stares at you, and then she goes, oh, shit. Um, I'm winking back, by the way. And she points oh. at her eye patch. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. No, we can do that. Uh, 
In fact, it's going to make my life a lot easier. It's easier to prep. Uh, which uh, table are you sitting at? Uh, are you one of here? I'll, I'll, you know, I'll eat over here, and then I'll be ready to jump those Yakuza guys in the corner in about a few minutes. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. They're probably starting some shit. And Musei, when you look over, you actually see them. They're getting kind of pissed at all this singing. Like, they seem annoyed that they're not the ones being the loudest. Hang on. Uh, does she hand her the uh, Bloody Mary? Yeah. Hey, listen, if you start something, at least let them start it first. Oh, I was going to start it. Okay. Just the Bloody Mary, extra Bloody in the raw steak, please. Gotcha. She pours you the Bloody Mary, and then she kind of leaves to the back real quick and comes out with a steak. There. Cook nice at all. Or, no, come cook not at all. Thank you. And she goes sits next to Musa. I mean, uh, not Musa, Marine. Not Marine. And she starts wringing the steak, like draining the blood into the Bloody Mary. You can it's try your... this, Marine. It's really good. I'll try any. I, I mean, I'll try anything once. I. I mean, you can't a... your own, but. What? Yeah. Yes. Oh wait, how uh... much was that? Oh, uh, steak. Well, you know what? I didn't have to cook it. So five gold. Oh, yeah. And bloody, bloody Mary. I'm really out of my element here, honestly. Just get the same hey. thing. Yeah. How big of a drinker are you? Talking to Marie. Oh. Um, we'll say I'm a virgin drinker. All right. One virgin coming up. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm saying I'm, I would like to huh? to break. I would like to break this oh, virginity. Oh. I no, 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 no. Don't, don't, don't get it twisted. It's a Yasnik virgin. What do you mean? Mm. Don't worry. And she pours you a drink and slides it to you. I, I'm not of the faith. Is is this going to offend them? It'll be fine. Would this offend other faiths? No, you're good. Oh, all right, all right. Hold on, if you're really that worried. Uh, hey, Paladin! Yelling over to El Chad. Wait, El Chad? <laughs> She's yelling to El Chad. Hey, Paladin! He's Is he drunkenly singing? He must be. Yeah. Nah, he's fine. Ahmed looks over at the the bears and he, he spies their instruments. What kind of what kind of a, a tra they're a traveling band, right? They are a traveling band. What kind I, I'm gonna ask them, I'm gonna say, hey, what kind of music you guys play? Well, I play the drums. And I play the guitar. Mm. Mm. Well, and together we sing. That's right. You mind if I play a little something with you guys? Well, go right ahead. We'll make it a real hoot, Nanny. We'll just. Yeah, it sounds like fun. Got this tune that's going in my head. Been rumbling around a few days. Let's see. Let's see. And he gets the, uh, let's see. He gets the pan flute out. Starts playing. I imagine it's something like Mamas and the Papas with the recorder yeah. instead of a pan flute. Damn. I don't remember what the... Sorry. I don't remember what the name of it is. But I had it on my list here. No, oh, I lost it. I'm sorry, I had I had a great bit that I was gonna do. <laughs> um but you guys start playing with the drunken singing and the bears, it actually comes out as a pretty good tune. Hmm. 
Ahmed's going to say uh, good job in Infernal to this bear. <laughs> Hold on, I actually need to look up languages real quick. So you guys are pretty good. One. Is it Infernal or is it Abyssal? I, Ahmed knows both. They, okay, they look at you and they, they go, I'm sorry, I didn't quite understand you. <laughs> Uh, can our med make it a, a, a check to see if they're telling the truth? Yeah. All right. What do you think? Insight? Uh, it's probably an insight to see if they're lying. Uh, an insight? They're not lying. Hmm. Our med clears his throat. <laughs> excuse me. Excuse me. Sorry. And then he says it in abyssal. An abyssal. Mm -hmm. They stare at you again. I'm sorry, I didn't quite catch that neither. You've been Hello. speaking in a weird time. No, I thought I thought last time we met, you said that you were followers of the Shadow Lord. Just figured that you might, uh, be, you know, communicate with him from time to time. Ah, oh, no, we don't speak in that tongue. We speak primordial. <laughs> That's right. Zingibidawara. Our man just looks over at El Chad. El, El Chad's just getting drunk. <laughs> and still singing that. The All song. right. Our man lifts his own cup. <laughs> and he drinks. And then he goes back to his pan flute. Look. Start just whittling away at the pan flute. Mm -hmm. um, it is after a, a, a little while, a man makes his way in. Um, he is dressed in the classic Yasnik robes. Um, he has gray hair and glasses. Um, and he is starting to make his way over. He's looking around, trying to figure out who he's supposed to be looking for. Um, and he sees El Chad and he starts heading towards El Chad but it was at this point that the Yakuza were also making their way towards the thing and they bump into the man oh I oh I'm I'm sorry I didn't mean to look at that and they grab him by his robes and like what do you think you're doing huh getting in our way like oh well, I didn't mean anything by it I was just trying to get over to the uh, to the table over there. And, eh? What's that? Can't hear you over here. Weaseling. And they're like shaking him around and the bears turn and go, ooh, seems like a bit of a scuffle is on the way. Yeah, it sure seems it. What do you guys do? As this uh yeah, Babs man, is gonna, <laughs> Babs is gonna <laughs> kind of just sigh <laughs> and uh, turn to Ashra. Sorry. She gives a thumbs up. Eh, just you know, don't kill him. Throw him out. That'd be convenient. But you know, you do what you gotta do. Yeah, he's gonna move up. And Actually, gonna... no, no. I know what she says. She says, "When you, when you, or I said sorry to her." She goes, "Well, you know what the Osnick saying is: fighting outside of a hockey rink is wrong, but you do what you got to do." <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is hockey? <laughs> oh, hold on a second, y'all. I got a uh, jet for just a second, actually. Sorry. All right. Yeah, yeah. No, Chad. <laughs> As you turn around, you see and recognize this man. He was one of the the uh, squires who was trying to become a paladin when you were. However, he, he sort of didn't go that path and instead became one of the designated deacons of the Yasnik uh, religion. Uh, Melvin Minkle. Ah, <laughs> oh, yeah, that guy was such a Melvin. 
Yeah. <laughs> the ripe old age of 29. Uh, he is going I'm gray. Like, I'm like 43 right now. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like he's. It has not been a a great <laughs> position to hold. <laughs> As he's like, now, now hold on, sir. Now, y you do know the Yasnik teachings. You would not hit a man with glasses. Hey, Velvet. Uh, oh, El Chad! Uh, I was actually coming to see. Hey, we're talking to you, and they like pick him up. Oh, El Chad, oh dear! El Chad just steals. Give him a swirly. <laughs> so you're encouraging them to beat his ass. <laughs> <laughs> this is 100 percent in the Yasnik tradition, I imagine. <laughs> yeah. Oh wait, here, Dustin. Hold on, I have a musical track for this. Side story. <laughs> they, they like pick him up. <laughs> now, now oh. Chad, I actually yeah. had some things I need to discuss with you. If you could just maybe help me out with these uh, ruffians, it would be very uh, great. Who you calling a ruffian? Hey, we pipe. haven't even begun to rough you up. Pipe oh. down, <laughs> would you? Some of us are trying to relax over here. El Chad. El Chad basically goes up to one of the Yakuza guys and he just says, Oh man, you guys know Melvin over here too? I'll tell you what, one time, one time we told him that he had to, he had to, you know, chug the whole keg to, to come, come to a party, but it, it wasn't full of beer. It was full of piss. <laughs> and I'll tell you what, old Melvin here got about a third of the way through it before he realized. Isn't that right, Melvin? I mean, uh, I mean, there was a, a, a quite a hazing. It was. Yeah. Um, and are you making a percept or a persuasion? Are you trying to basically think that it's not worth it? Uh, I'll just lighten the mood of the situation. Okay, let's get Maybe. a persuasion check. Okay. <laughs> okay, this guy in the back who seems to be kind of their boss is laughing. <laughs> like, he drank piss. I mean, yeah, yeah, I'll admit it. You know, old Mel, old Melvin got his got got his due, didn't he? Um, and they they do let him down. <laughs> hey, he should do it again. Yeah. Hey, there's a toilet around this place, right? Now, now, hold on. I'm not gonna go go sticking my head in a toilet down. That's ridiculous. No, like that's that's why his hair's white. That's that's so many swirlies. The pneumonia. You have the bleach white. inside of the yeah. toilets when we were supposed to clean them. Did yeah. cause my hair follicles to become as white as they are? Yes, that is correct. I imagine Babs is just watching this. He thought he was going to get into a scuffle. <laughs> and he's now hearing El Chad also rag on this guy. <laughs> he's just like, this is just the most awkward thing ever for him. Um, Are you, is, is Babs still coming up here? Well, I think Crystal had to walk away for a second. All right. Hold on. Gonna... <laughs> let's let's read the room, shall we? What is Muse and Marine? You both are seeing this happen. What is your opinion? Uh, I'm, I'm, go ahead. No, no, go ahead. I was gonna say, Marine is like, her first intuition is, am I going to have to like, like verp, like cast Mind Sliver to be able to like down one of these guys? Then she realizes. We're in a place where we're supposed to relax. Let's just watch what happens. And then she's just sitting there, just kind of like people watching and drinking. Marine goes, okay. Marine whispers, I mean, Musa whispers to Marine, hey, do you think anyone would notice if one of those guys goes missing? Okay. I. 
I feel as if maybe not the one with the glass, one with the dark, the dark as I'm glasses. Running low, yeah, I'm running low, and I'm I'm running low of blood in my sack. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> that low. is out of context. The most wild thing anyone could say. <laughs> she she pours some of the blood back into uh, from her sack into the Bloody Mary <laughs> while everyone's distracted. <laughs> And you, then, mean, uh, you mean like spell component or? No, no, like blood. Oh no, like for for a spell or for? No, no, for drinking. As she drinks the bloody Mary. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> she just I... topped off with more blood. All right, we hop over to Vinny and um, our <laughs> med. What is their opinions of this? Like ah, that's yeah, old Lucian thing. Vinny's just annoyed by the commotion since he was trying to relax and listen to this nice bear music. And these guys are trying to start like a scuffle or something over there. But El Chad currently seems to be calming that down a little. And Ahmed? Ahmed looks at them and goes, will you all shut up? Um, make a, a persuasion check. All right. Uh, so I'm going to take that into account to what happens. But quick thing, Baps, since Christoph, since you're back. Yeah. Uh, they put the man down after <laughs> after El Chad walked up and said, yeah, we should give him a swirly. He one time in the party, we made him drink piss. And Melvin agreed that, yes, he did drink piss. It was quite the razzing. And that's why his hair is white is because they used bleach to clean the water and it bleached his hair white. Um, and it just seems like El Chad and this group of Yagas are just completely razzing on this Melvin. Poor Melvin. El, El Chad, why, why, why are you picking on this guy? I, just just, just a little bit Melvin. of razzing. Just a little bit of razzing from my good friend El Chad here. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna drink piss. And now I did, I did say I was not gonna do that. Well, hang on, guys. I got, I got a better idea. No, huh? we could. There's, there's an old Yasnik game we could play. Okay, you guys, you guys in for, you guys in for a game? <laughs> yeah, we, we're in for a game. And, All right. and They kind of look over at our med who yelled at him to like shut up, and he like, hey, yeah, we. Plus, getting into a fight with this guy is not really a, our thing, you know? It'd make us look bad. Yeah, like, I think beating his ass would actually make us look worse. All right. All right, here's the game we're going to play, okay? It's called, uh, and El Chad's going to walk around. It's called Piss Drunk. Okay? All right. We're going to, every person on the table, we, get, we all sit down. We'll get a whole yeah. keg. And we drink beer every 10 minutes. Hell okay. yeah, let's do it. And then, hold on. The first person to piss themselves loses. Huh. huh. And don't worry, guys. I will be keeping track of it. And you'll <laughs> be drinking, too. Well, That's actually, uh, <laughs> I am a designated deacon now, Chad. It's been a couple years. Good to see you. Uh, I am not allowed to drink. I am actually abstaining from drinking. That's now, kind of what we do as the designated deacon. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'll pour it down your throat for you. Now, like, I, he this... pulls out a big ass book and he starts <laughs> flipping through it. Now, I don't see anywhere in here where that actually is. Hold on. No, never mind. That's a bad, that's a suppository. Uh, no, no, nowhere in here does it say anything about it being allowed if you give it to me. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's do this. Yeah. Right, barkeep, a drink, a keg, a keg. Okay, and they start cheering, and uh, even uh, Ashra like yells, "Okay!" and goes over and grabs a keg, brings it around, 
and uh, plops it into the middle of this uh, this table. Um, and actually, the Yakuza guys are going to pay for the bill. They will pay for the keg. All right. Anybody else joining? I, I can't believe he, he just d diffused that situation with, like, a, 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 aff affable stupidity. I mean, we should have at least killed one of those guys. Um... You know, I feel as if you might have that handled later. Yeah, yeah. Our All man, right. I'm not, I'm not joining, see. but I'm definitely going to watch. Armed off the corner of your eye, you see the tiny shop. He's like eating a piece of the meat. <laughs> this is on, on our relation. table. <laughs> yes, he's on the table. He's a tiny little icon here. Hey, man. Oh. He, he scurries away, and you wait, lose wait. sight of him. I have something for you. He peeks back out again. I yeah. now I it's, it's something harder. you gave me. He's gonna well, yeah. somewhat, somewhat of something you gave me. Yeah. He, Ahmed rummages around in his pack. He's like, I know I had it here somewhere. I, I, he looks back at the shopkeep and he goes, well, it, it's broken, but I, you know, I wanted to keep it in case we ever ran into each other again. Maybe you could fix it. Mm. I, you know, I don't know if you're in the business of fixing. Ah, hang on, I'll find it here. And then he goes, oh, I found one. And he puts one of the nitpickers legs on the table. Yes, the nitpicker. And then uh, he sheds a yep. single tear. Oh, <laughs> I go. Oh, I found the other one, and I I put the other one there too. Ah. You know, yeah, died, died. You know, well, died in the line I, of duty. I suppose I could reward you for returning his due service back to me here, and he. He reaches into his robe and he pulls out a, a full size shirt. And I'll let you pick Aloha one of these wear. colorful garments. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh, you get to pick one of the island auras, so one of the patterns. Okay, okay. You mind if I read it and then uh, yes, come back to yes, you? Yes, okay. more than welcome to. Thank you. Um, as we cut to the keg. All right. We're going to do a round table uh, constitution off. Now, right. I... I won't be drinking. I want to point that out. Yep, I'll get to pour the glass for you. Now I, again, I feel pour like for you against your will. There has been some miscommunication somewhere in the conversation here. Uh, shut up and drink. Uh, all right, El Chad, I'm gonna need a Constitution <laughs> save. <laughs> All right, one Yakuza 14. member takes a, this big guy, the biggest guy amongst <laughs> them, takes a huge chug from the keg, and he gives you this look like, is that all? And then he slams his head on the table. He's done. <laughs> uh, the rest of them are still in the game. Uh, do, you want, do you want Melvin to drink? <laughs> So well, because the game goes until you piss somebody pisses themselves. Okay, he went so, his face drunk. The Yakuza guy, he fell unconscious. Yeah. All right. Um, all right, Melvin. Yeah, Melvin's gonna drink. Melvin drinks. He actually holds it in. All right. Oh, that's a little spicy. All right. Next round. We got a, a 19. And Melvin got 
17. Damn, Damn they're all good. I'll Chad. All right. 22. 22. Unfortunately, Melvin goes, oh, that one's that one's a little ah uh, ah uh, beans, and he looks down and he falls unconscious. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> He doesn't get a plus five to it with with my uh oh wait with the plus five yeah you're yeah, right Fiora, yeah he's friendly do you consider them an ally <laughs> he goes oh oh he looks down okay i just spilled some that wasn't pissed <laughs> uh and then this guy boom unconscious <laughs> next round Ooh, we got a five. I don't think the Yakuza are going to make it this time. Oh, I'm starting to get my sea legs back. <laughs> my roll. Yes. Seventeens. He actually seems to take it a little better than you, El Chad. <laughs> Melvin. And the other guy, he gives you this look of like, eh, it ain't nothing, little guy. Boom. They're doing really well. Their boss looks at you. He kind of he kind of gives a nod of approval, like he's accepted you as being a challenge. Gotta, I, I look I, back at him and just oh Jesus, <laughs> it ain't looking good for them. Between the two of them, my money's on Melvin. All right. <laughs> All right. Oh, 17s. Hell yeah. He looks at you. He stands up and he goes, Thank you for the game. And he puts his arms up and then falls backwards. <laughs> Unconscious. Oh, oh. That was fun. All right. Let's call it here. Yeah, uh, I, was, we got I was hoping one of them would piss themselves. I mean, uh, it's a shame none of us pissed ourselves, but you know we got a lot to do. Well, Chad, so I think uh, we'll call it here. We don't need to go any further, you and me. And uh, we'll uh, we'll get some of the work done. I do have to actually ask you. Um, uh, and he pulls out another binder, like another big binder. <laughs> You know, there was some interesting uh, spending that happened uh, recently. Uh, you had requested at the keep for some Yasnik. Uh, big. Do you want to cut him off? Because he's going to keep going. Uh, I'll, be, I'll just be like, hey, Melvin, Melvin, that'd be uh, yeah, oh, we yeah. should go over that in at your office where there's, you know, I mean, church, church financial records are secret. Oh yes, yes, we yeah. should. We should. But 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 first, we should hit the restroom, right? Because I oh. mean, I, don't know. I had like six beers. I gotta take a piss. Yeah, I'm full to burst. Okay, I'm yeah, burst. I'm gonna I'm gonna close out the tab and. Uh, All right. You, uh, you hit the head. I'll be there in a minute. All right, I'll be there. All right, see ya. Right, see you there. Or be square. Am I right? Oh, it's, it's this way. It's this way. I'm sorry. Ooh, excuse me. <laughs> And that's how El Chad never loses piss drunk. Yep. <laughs> well, I was wow. going to say, he be he becomes an enemy and he doesn't get your bonus anymore. Yep. Well, <laughs> he went and took a piss. He lost. The Yakuza are piss faced and just laying on the ground. Wow, El Chad, you, you, you knocked him all out without throwing a punch. How are you still walking? Walking. Yes, I, I mean, it's, look how much she consumed. You must, you, your senses must be inebriated. Uh, no, 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 I'm good. Huh? Through all things, you the impossible. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I could even go for a nice orc vitality potion. Yeah, right about now. Ah, oh, sorry. We're all sold out. I, I, I'm going to be quite frank. I thought that was an in-joke. I 
that's an actual thing. Oh yeah. What, what does it do? Oh, what does it <laughs> not do? Yeah. Ah. Uh, uh, so it's okay. Okay. I mean, four whole hours of you know, what? A party. Of a party. Yeah. Four whole hours. Aren't you supposed to see the cleric after after one or two? <laughs> Am I missing something here? You're supposed to call the cleric if it lasts longer than four hours. If your if your party lasts longer than four hours, you're supposed to call yes. the cleric. Yes. Why? Yeah. You can't have the blood flow to your you know special well, area for too long. Uh, um... Yeah. Why, why would your Why would your blood be flowing to some place if you're partying? Because you're uh, having sex. We got to our men. What Have do you, you mean? A... <laughs> we say just gently, the one hand on the shoulders, just like, oh, you sweet summer child. Yeah. Oh, he knows. Uh, our, our man, have you picked it? Like he's pulled out multiple shirts for you. Oh, no, he's showing he's showing them all to me. Yeah. All right. Uh, let's see. I think. Uh... <laughs> and he's tiny, but the shirts are full sized. Yes. <laughs> uh, yeah. sorry. I... Yeah, I'll take the. Yeah, our med's picking through. He goes. Hmm. Mm, these are nice. These are nice. And um, he grabs the. Uh, oh. The, I think it's the Aloha. No, that's not it. Sorry, I have to read them all again. I apologize. Uh, I believe it's the Hidden Oasis one. All right, the Hidden Oasis. Once per short rest, the wearer can conjure a small pocket dimension of a tropical paradise around them, granting temporary hit points uh, equal to their level plus charisma modifier to all allies within 10 feet until they next long rest or until expended. I think nice that, pattern, that pattern would look good on you. Yes, I, I believe so. Hey, come here. Come down. Come. I must come whisper here. something to you. Ahmed leans in. He he kind of like scurries up a little bit to Ahmed's ear and goes, I am hidden all over the island. If you find me, I will give you more shirts. And then he scurries away really quick, like kind of unsettlingly quick. Ooh, ooh. I look over at the bear and I go, did you hear that? What? Uh, well, you didn't hear what you were talking about. Okay, okay, okay. Armed, uh, he's, he's, he puts on the, uh, the Aloha shirt. All right. Uh, you get the benefits of it, like it is a um, uh, a, a piece of armor, thirteen plus your dex max two. Very cool. Uh, and you have the hidden oasis effect. You feel like uh, you're very calm in this little uh, this little shirt. Our med walks over to everybody and he's like, "Hey, what do you think of my shirt?" You look like you're get, get, getting into the, the spirit. You match the island very well. Thank you. I, I, is it c c camouflage? You it's know? gotta be. What color was it? I forget which color it was. Was it the green oh. one? I it's got all the flowers on it and stuff like we saw on the beach. Oh. It is the tropical pattern. Um, so it's actually the one with like... Uh, like different pinks and and greens and stuff, flowery. Mm. It, so to, to, to hide in the island, island environment. Yeah, our man's in a, clever. He's in a good mood, and he goes, "I'm just trying to blend in, you know." I see that. And you look down, Armed, and something kind of shocks you. Uh oh, you're you're in cargo pants and flip flops, <laughs> <laughs> and you don't remember putting those on. 
Do I find sunglasses in the cargo pant pocket? No, they're in your Hawaiian shirt like pocket. They're like okay. hanging on it. I pull them out and I uh, don the shades. And you you are so relaxed right now. And you, Ooh. for some reason, feel like playing golf. Playing. <laughs> yeah, he goes, uh, he goes, I'm going to go out. Uh, hey, barkeep. Yeah. Give me a. Give me a light, a light beer with, uh, with a lime, you know, and I <laughs> right. toss a couple of coin. She, uh, she nods and, and goes behind there. Uh, and she gives you a, ah, uh, shit. I don't know. She gives you a new moon. A with new lime. moon. <laughs> yeah. I she, no, she gives you a Corolla. A Corolla. It's with a lime. Corolla extra. <laughs> yeah, Corolla Extra with a lime. I take it. I, you know, I, I cheers. I say, keep, keep the change. I'll decrement a little do. bit of my gold. And then, uh, yeah, I say, guys, what do you say? I think it's time we go to the next bar. Uh, yeah, well, why not? Uh, thanks, thanks a lot, uh, Ashra. Oh, no problem. What do you, what do you nope. do if you haven't finished your first drink? You chug it. Oh, chug it. You drink you, it. Yeah, you finish it. Allow me to demonstrate. And Vinny just checks what's left of his drink and slams it on the table on the bar. You chug the rest of your drink, slam it on the bar. I can I just put this in a in a cup and take it with me? Nope. Drink it. Drink, oh. drink, 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 drink. Don't have to drink if you don't, don't want to. Well, peer I'm pressure, here to un- peer pressure, peer I'm, pressure, peer pressure. I'm, I'm here to unwind, I guess, as uh, Maureen's going to, like, just pick it, like, squeeze the glass, and then just, like, just throw it back. Yeah. Throw it back. It's good. You are a bit tipsy. I need a con save, actually. And got it. Oh, you were shit faced. Well, she's <laughs> next after, to El Chad. After feet. one beer. No, it is a one, though. It's a save. A oh, failed good. save regardless. So you are shit faced after one beer. I, I, oh, and this is why I don't do these things. Um, so what was that thing that I forgot that you you were gonna you, you mentioned earlier that I should remember about the last time I drank? You, you know, you, you have a, a very, very pretty singing voice. What what was the name of that song? Uh, uh, Vinny, you remember, right? Yeah, it's the one that goes la 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 la, right? No. no. That, was, that wasn't it. That, that wasn't it. All right, you'll I've have to forgive me. I don't think I've ever since a concussion. I've ever sang in front of anyone before. Uh, uh, well, uh, sh- sure, Marie. Okay, I'll take your word for it. Um, you might have to help me walk to the next place. Yeah, hey, Baki, right. uh, what Ooh. is what is the name of the next place? You know, heading into. Into the rest of the island. Um. Well, there's the one-eyed snake. There's the uh, spiggly wigget. There's the. Yeah, but just uh, which one's which one's the closest one is what I'm is what the I'm. Stuff. Probably the stuffed unicorn. I mean, that one's unicorn. pretty popular. All right. Thanks for the. For the, I, for the information. I heard, a, I, I heard a tale once about a stuffed unicorn. <laughs> Uh, and as you you guys are discussing where to go, Melvin comes walking up. Oh, ah, man. Had to, had to let out a lot of chat. I wouldn't go in there for a while. Oh, boy. Oh, Lord, did you shit yourself? <laughs> no, I did. I didn't shit myself. That's not what I was implying. <laughs> All right, well. Oh, and he, he looks at Marine. Ah, and he points at your hair. 
Ah, toilet swirly, huh? I know no. the feeling, and he points at his hair. <laughs> no, I died. <laughs> oh, yeah, I felt like I was going to die, too. <laughs> thank, thank goodness they went in a clean one. No, no, I, I died. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, that's... uh. Oh, that's probably a lot to unpack. I'm going to emotionally kind of step out of that uh, space. Uh, El Jed, uh, we should probably go discuss things, but you probably want to go talk with the head paladin, right? In fact, it, well, this is kind of why I wanted to talk with you. Could you maybe have a conversation? Um, things have not been going particularly well with my... Uh, form of diplomacy i figured maybe you would be a little bit better at it seeing what? as uh you're a paladin wait 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 uh, as wait, well. wait 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 what did you want me to talk to him about well i mean the, she's been real difficult and i would really like her to maybe get more involved in some of the things going on in the island and she's maybe not been as receptive well, have you actually listened wait, to what wait, he wait, has wait, to say? Wait, 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 wait. The head paladin's a woman? Well, well, yeah. I mean, you, I mean, you, you know her. Wait, 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 wait. I know her? Yeah, I mean, she's, and we're going to cut away. <laughs> And as you're standing there, you see what looks like a, a beautiful beach. Uh, uh, a young boy is staring off into the water as a beautiful woman steps out of the water, splashes her hair, blonde uh, locks sort of flowing down her side as she walks over to where the young boy is, who is standing next to a chest. And uh, he's holding a sword. He looks like a little squire boy. She comes walking up to him, regal and uh, sublime, before she shoves him to the ground out of the way and goes, get out of my way, you little fucking twerp, and then pops open the chest, pulling out a beer and chugs it, throws the bottle at him, get the fuck out of here, and the little kid scurries away. As you see, the paladin who is in charge of this place, Paladin Shabethany. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. And she lights up this, a cigarette. Is this a flashback or is this no, happening right this now? This is currently. This is happening oh in god. the moment. I love that one of her titles is That Bitch. I like that it's Yana's knees, Queen. And there's the Slayer Scream for a title. <laughs> the legendary paladin Shabethany. Um <laughs> The the great degenerate, um, El Chad. I have or Data. I have left this ambiguous. All I am going to say is that El Chad knows who Shabethany is. Who is Shabethany to El Chad? Was she like his mentor when he was a squire? Was he like a rival paladin? What, what would you say she was? Oh Jesus. Um... Oh man, is is this the same universe as Agents of Edgewatch? Let me ask this that is part. not. It can't be because she was like a prostitute in Agents of Edgewatch. Yeah. <laughs> well, that doesn't change much in this conversation. <laughs> yeah, though. I'm sure it doesn't. Yeah. <laughs> One time I caught a goblin and I fed it poison. <laughs> <laughs> um. All right, all right. Uh, Shabethany. Oh no, that's not a good. I need. I need to get backstory for this. <laughs> she was El the the paladin who who taught El Chad everything he knows. <laughs> or she was El Chad's twin sister. <laughs> Shabethany may or may not be my sister. That's that's <laughs> ambiguous. We don't know for sure. Yes. But that's that's how that's how uh 
that's how we know each other. Yeah. Because we're, we're both originally from the same town. We were both orphans. Yeah. We... <laughs> yeah, no. Okay. Similar that's... kind of bone structure, you know. Yeah, it could be, could not be, maybe half siblings. It's kind of left. She could be your mom, for all you know. <laughs> you actually don't know. It's really kind of up in the air. I do um, know that she gave my boys Chet and Brett. Yeah. The class. She did do that. <laughs> <laughs> and it was weird. She was proud of it. Yeah. Like, um, but Melvin has said, y yes, uh, Paladin Shabethany has been quite difficult. Um, I tried to, you know, get her to get involved in some of the different troubles going on in the island, but she has been, uh, well, let's just say a bit unwilling. And I just thought maybe you could, uh, you could talk to her. Um, and she's sitting on the chest and basically just smoking a cigarette. Oh my God, this place is so... Fucking boring. Do I have to deal with Shabethany? Well, I mean, if we, you don't have to, but it would be very uh, helpful if you did. I mean, the I mean I'm sure she would take the great. input of another paladin very seriously. You see that little boy come back and Shabethany takes the bottle and throws it at him and clonks him on the head. I don't know. We could sit, we could sit in our bed to go deal with this. Well, I mean, if you think he's a good diplomatizer, I mean, I, I don't, I would try anything at this point. Meanwhile, there's like a whole buffet over here that obviously was set up for Shabethany that she just doesn't give a shit about. You can tell she hasn't eaten anything from it. She's just requested all this food. <sighs> nice, Armed. Armed walks up. I love totally that unbuttoned Hawaiian shirt. <laughs> the picture is perfect. <laughs> Hold on, can I make it big for a sec? I'm gonna make yeah. it big just so. <laughs> Uh, Our man's gonna go around and this. start saying "brudda" a lot. Hey, hey brudda. Uh, I'm just trying to relax here. You hey, said that old hey, chat, Vin? and then you... and I, I, I give old Vinny an elbow. Hey, good to see you. Hey. Yeah, it looks like there's a lot of food here. A, hey, uh, is a bear behind the thing? There is a man in a bear costume. <laughs> hey, so hey Mr. Bear Guy, uh, is this the stuff? Uh, what's, the, what's the price on this stuff? Man's got to eat. Uh, set up, it's, it's set up for Shabethany, uh, but she hasn't eaten any of it. So uh, I guess who's it's who's okay. Shabethany? She's over there. And Yo, points. Shabethany! <laughs> Can I get some of this uh, roast pig over here? You can eat a bit of it if you shut your fucking loud nose and have a fucking hangover. I don't want to hear yelling. Oh, but thank you, lady. I'll I'll zip it. Then he starts getting some pig. More. She flicks you off. Like <laughs> <laughs> drinking more sounds all right. I, I do, in, in fact, agree. Um, what do you think she would like? Um, I don't think anything you provide her she would like. I don't know. I'm feeling quite brave. Is this what drinking does? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. It, it also makes you it piss yourself. Apparently. Well, what happens in the ocean stays in the ocean. Yeah, I mean, fish fucking there. You'll die. Bear suit man. Yeah. You, 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 you got anything back there with a with an umbrella in it? Uh, we got coconuts with umbrellas in it, yeah. You 
I can... Does that have booze in it? Uh, I do believe Shabethany asked for everything to have booze in it, so yes. Even oh, the food? Yeah. Uh, uh, can, can, yeah. Can, we, can we get a round of that? Yeah, here. That explains why this pig tastes can... like rum. May I get two? <laughs> it's just rum, ma'am. <laughs> May I get two? Yeah. Yeah, I'll take one. So this, this over here, is, is this just... This is just bo bobbing for apples? Yeah, she asked for those too. It's filled with, uh, it's filled with vodka. <laughs> that uh, that's like apple infused vodka. Yeah, she hasn't, again, she has not come over for any of it. Uh, so why are you in a bear suit? Well, that was part of the request too. Um, I believe her quote was, because it would be really, really, really fucking funny that you're sweating and almost dying in here. Hey, do you have anything, like, raw, like, uncooked? Just asking. Uh, no. Damn. I mean, I got sushi. That's, that's yeah, a I'll raw. Take that. I'll take that. All right. Hey, th uh, th thanks for your... Booze lady. Yeah, what the fuck ever. Who are you losers? <laughs> Babs is gonna down his coconut <laughs> drink and toss it into the ocean. When it's shell point save you, lady. Oh, that's that's fucking nice. You got your own little like homo group. And hey, we got ladies I... in this group. <laughs> <laughs> she uh she stares at Marine really intensely. Yeah, do you? You freelighter? Yeah, yes. All right, you and uh, and she kind of looks around. Hold on, I need to roll a die. <laughs> she looks at you and then she looks at Muse and you. Oh. Yeah. Later. All right, cool. And then she she does this very rude gesture with her fingers. What does that mean? Y you know what? I you, don't you, know what that means. You don't want to know. <laughs> it means that she leans in. We're gonna we're gonna suck her blood later. <laughs> I, <laughs> I I feel like you, you might be in, into. You know, I'll try anything once. Exactly. Now, would you like, now, would you like now, a drink? Now, Chad, if you could just go over there and uh, have a conversation, just one, please. Please, uh, she made me wear the bear suit last time. All right. All right. El Chad's, <laughs> El Chad's gonna walk over. Oh, El Chad, you'll need and, this. And what? she he he tries to hand you a helmet. I I don't I don't take the helmet. No, no. Now, Chad, one time I went up there, she clocked me on the head so hard I was bleeding. I thought I had a seizure, I'm and she not. just laughed at me. I, no, I I know Shabethany. And and El Chad just kind of walks up, and as he's walking up, he goes, oh, look, it's Little Miss, and claps his hands <laughs> twice. <laughs> she, she whips around real quick at you. Oh, look. The little homeboy made his way back. What you been um, doing? Uh, you know, doing like that dumb shit you've always done? Oh, yeah, you know, just just fighting off the orc invasion while you uh, employ him. I do what? You Oh, you employ orcs here? I don't employ orcs here. I don't even fucking work here. No, I'm pretty sure you work here. That's what Melvin says. No, I, I did not. She looks at Melvin. <laughs> Melvin, come over here real quick. But, no, I think that it'd be good. No, you should definitely come over here. <laughs> El Chad's going to take the helmet from him. <laughs> <It's awesome. laughs> no, no, please, please, please. He whispers El Chad, please don't. Melvin, get your fucking dumbass over here. Okay. And he comes walking over. 
and she puts this she puts her hands on his shoulder. Melvin, I'm not gonna fucking hurt you. You're you're not No. I'm gonna fucking kill you. <laughs> she picks him up. It's like like fucking Bane and Batman. <laughs> his back on his on her knee. Then he just oh, oh. I can't feel my legs! I can't feel them! Ah, ah. I needed that. Bethany, okay. Who do you think orders the booze here? Uh, me. Uh huh. And you fill out all the paperwork to order all the booze? Oh no, he he does. Hold on. Stand, sit still, you little worm. And she she hits him with a lay on hands, and she's gonna spend five endurance crippled. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, thank you. Uh, he starts crawling away, but as he does, Jephthah steps forward and literally just steps on top of him. <laughs> so what the fuck do you want, Chatamus, or whatever the fuck your name is? I don't even remember. It's been so long. Well, I don't know. This Melvin here came, bothered what? me to ask you to do your job or some shit. I've been doing my fucking job watching those boneheads over there. And she gestures behind her. Um, in the distance, you see Talonbrine, the island of Talonbrine. And it looks like there's a bunch of ships around it. Just like the order's been saying. Probably didn't have enough time to do any of the other shit around this dumbass island. What if we could maybe just help with the orcs a little? I don't... I'm fucking done with orcs. That was like... Oh, last decade. So what's going on in Talibrine? Exactly. Those dumb, uh, what the fuck they called? Uh, gloom, whatever, something or another, like circling the city or some dumb shit like that. Oh. I mean, they do it every fucking month. I have to like, you know, watch. And there's like more this time. And Hemdelier was like, well, you got to watch them. And I'm not going to fucking waste my time on like any of this dumb shit. I was hoping they would at least come over here so I'd get some sort of fucking bite. I mean, we, we go over there. I'm not allowed to leave the fucking island, which I mean, I, I don't even care. Like I would do whatever the fuck I want to do, but like. Wait, you wait, know. wait, wait, you're not allowed to leave the island? No, because I'm supposed to watch this little dillweed. And I'm supposed to, like, protect the island because it's a strategic point or some dumb shit. Like, it wasn't like this when I was, you know, slaying orc tribes or fucking dumb gark into the goddamn ground, you know? Like, I can do whatever the fuck I want. <laughs> huh. Well, you can do a history check on that if you like. Yeah, let me do a history check on that. Oh, give me one second. All right, that's going to be a crit. You know that when Shabethany was slaying orcs and the many tribes that made up the the orc tribes to the uh, to the to in, eh, in and around yeah. Hemdlir, uh the leader of the tribe, sort of the kind of head war chief, was named Domgark. Um, she, uh, Shabethany was apparently kidnapped by Domgark and held captive because Domgark wanted a warrior wife. Um, so they were, they went through the traditional, you know, orc, or pillage just the lady and kidnap them and make them your bride and have a night with them. But unfortunately, whatever Shabethany did to Domgar <laughs> broke his will. <laughs> and the tribes disbanded. <laughs> it was actually a pretty dramatic event for the other, for basically orc kind. I would argue all orcs were affected. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody knows exactly what she did to him in their night of passion. <laughs> it was bad. Whatever it was, it was really bad from like a spiritual level. People even knew it was bad.
Um, and what she is referencing is basically that after that, the tribe sort of disbanded and the orc wars kind of slowly kind of came to an end. Uh, and it seems like she's been really fucking bored since then. <laughs> you ever think like they exiled you to this island? I mean, I thought about it, but like they wouldn't do that. I'm like their best fucking warrior. No, I'm pretty sure that's me. I, no, I'm pretty sure that's fucking me. No, no. Do you want to no. go? Do you want to go right here? Right now? We'll go. I'll break your back like this little twerp. <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> Hell, I'll break your back with this twerp. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't. Please. <laughs> I, I, I kind of want to see that. I know. Imagine all the good photos. I'm going to say, you remember all of the stories you guys ran on Dumbart. <laughs> yeah, we did. Don't worry, she's she's been holding the cat out in front of her this whole time, catching all these nice, nice photos. Yeah. <laughs> so, Jabethany looks pissed. You want to go? You want to go right fucking now? Because I'll go right fucking now. I'm so goddamn bored. Elchad's going to look at the party. Do it. I'll see. Yeah, you can take it. All right, what do I get if I win? Uh, I don't know. The fucking satisfaction of beating somebody you could never beat. That's a good one. No, because then I'd just be known as El Chad, the guy who could beat up a woman. Yeah, that would be pretty fucking lame. Yeah, see? Uh, I don't know. And she looks around. I'll give you. I uh, got this dumbass surfboard I found and some of the refined orc vitality potions. Refined orc vitality potions? Yeah, here. Uh, it's just dumb shit. <laughs> it looks like a bottle of Jameson. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god a thick viscous potion uh, brewed from a secret recipe only known to orc shamans designed to bolster the vitality and strength of orc warriors somehow Paladin and Shabethany got a hold of a more refined version only used in unique orc rituals upon the upon consuming the potion the imbiber gains temporary hit points equal to their constitution modifier plus 2d6 that's pretty good for the duration of the post effect, the Viber gives the advantage on strength checks and saving throws. Additionally, while you have the temporary hit points, this also gives you advantage on melee attack rolls. Ooh. <laughs> that surfboard's pretty rad. All right. Be advised, use with caution. If it lasts more than four hours, <laughs> you need to contact a cleric or healer. <laughs> All right, I'll fight you for a dumb surfboard and some potions. All right, yeah, that's um, that's good and all, but what the fuck do I get? Uh, one of us. I'll get you off this island. Mm, I don't know if you can fucking do that. So oh, I can try fucking again. do that. You oh, you can do that. Oh, I can. You do got that. a writ. Oh, I can get one in about five minutes. All right, go get a writ and then come back here and we'll fucking deal. All right. <laughs> Our med's going to motion to I think, El Chad. I think he's going to need me to get the writ. Part. Yeah, All yeah, right, I was yeah. about to say, Melvin, just go get the writ. She, she like, kicks Melvin out from under. All right. I'll be waiting or what the fuck ever. And she just lays down and is, like, tanning. Okay, thank you. Uh, <clears throat> thank you, Mrs. Shibethany. That was very good. I'm not fucking listening to you anymore until you come back. I'm not even going to talk to you, so just pretend like you don't exist. Okay. I'll, I guess I'll... I guess I'll be back. <laughs> you very slowly... Please...
Hail Chad. Yeah. Did I hear that you need that you need to give her a writ? Yeah. What's it supposed to look like? Oh, it's about a piece of paper and it's about gay big and it's it's got a stamp on it and it's got some holy symbols that are really hard to uh forge. Mm. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, yeah. I know what you're talking about. And Ahmed rubs he puts his uh Corolla extra down. His slaps his hands one. He's together and got another one. He somehow got another one. He slaps his hands together and rubs and then puts it up to his mouth and goes whoosh, and boom. He's got a writ with some holy symbols on it. Oh, okay. It only lasts a minute. Run over there and give it to her. <laughs> Make it quick. Hold on. Make it quick. Just, sh bro. just show it to her. She doesn't get it until she I'm, wins. I've got I'm your writ and put it in your pocket. All right. Oh, Shabethany, I had one the whole time. She isn't even talking to you. <laughs> I think she definitely heard you guys. She did. You inside check. You know she heard you. <laughs> one more time. All right. While while Chad's waiting, he's just gonna be drinking cups of vodka. No joke. Uh, Musa is gonna pull out her ukulele and play it. You're playing this song. <laughs> yeah, she. Uh, I just look. She does have a ukulele. Yeah. Yeah. Babs, hold this one real quick. As Mar Marine's gonna like hand him a coconut. El, Ch El, Ch El Chad. Um. Hey. Yeah. Um. The guy in the bear suit. I'm sorry. You do your thing. What? What does? What does this hand symbol mean? She she gestured to me and Muse with it. Oh. Yeah, that means you're going to get the... Yeah, I, I didn't brain and made that mistake. Mm -hmm. What What is... What is that? What is that? Well, have you ever peed? Yes. And has it ever burned? Yes. Okay. Now imagine that happened like all the time. Oh. Eh, seems a minor inconvenience. And then if if you did that thing to other people, then then their pee would burn all the time too. Look like a what curse. What do you mean by is is she cursed? Is is that the, it, Yeah, it's like it's like a curse. So it's like a transferable curse. I mean, I we we have a cleric yeah, on the we have a cleric on the ship. You know, speaking of which, she could thing. she could probably heal this this entire time. Yeah, the fucked up thing is that she's immune to disease. <laughs> Babs, did you finish the drink I was gonna give her? Take this one. It's it's fresh. Oh, hey, give her this candy too. Um, okay. She her marine a lollipop. Okay. So you just I just go over and say say here you go. Yeah. Oh. Okay. <laughs> yeah. It's, All I right. mean, it, you know, it, it, nothing will happen if you don't don't uh, try. I guess. All right, so uh, I, it, fuck feelings. Um, and, and Marie's gonna okay. walk over to walk over to Shabeth. I, um, he, I brought you a drink and this lollipop. She, uh, she very slowly turns to you, lowers her sunglasses a bit. <laughs> Alright. So do you want me to give it to you in some funny fashion? 
she gets up. She is um, probably about six foot because of her heels. So a good head on Marine. And she looks down at at, uh, at Marine and goes, now I'm going to fucking give it to you. And she just sucks face like on Marine. She just grabs her and basically just kisses the shit out of her. Oh, Mar- Marine's going to get like full on like <laughs> get, into get into it. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. And uh, so while that is happening, Babs, off in the distance, you see what looks like sails of ships circling around Talimbrine proper. And you recognize those sails and that ship design, even from this distance, it's Gloomhaven. And they're circling around Talimbrine. Babs drops the coconut drink. What the fuck? Perhaps. Hold on. I need roll 2d6 for me. Oh, I forgot how to roll dice. I haven't done it in too long. <laughs> Before, as you drop it, it you hear a clink as it hits a bottle. Um, there is a corked bottle with what looks like a rolled up piece of paper in it. Babs it just reaches down. washed up. Babs reaches down, still staring out at the uh, vessels out at sea, and uh, pops the cork and pulls out the the rolled piece of paper. All right, roll a d twenty. He he unrolls it. <laughs> okay, you unroll it. And it's weird. At first, it kind of surprises you. There's a picture of a, a man. Oh, God! <laughs> You're a Richard Freegon. Huh. You feel like this is probably worth something, but you're not quite sure how much gold. Well, I guess I don't know what I expected and Babs is going to put it he's going to roll it up put it back in the bottle no he's he's, he's actually just going to just going to fold it up and put it in the, the the pocket of his pajama pants all right and continue staring out watching watching the ships what the, what the hell are they it's doing here As you stare off, we're getting towards the end of the session. Uh, should we wrap it here? Let's see. Uh, El Chad's waiting for a writ. Marine's getting kissed by the six foot full, uh, six foot tall paladin lady with chlamydia, and Babs is looking <laughs> at Gloomhaven and circling Talonbrine like a pack of hungry sharks. Yeah. That's a possible. That's one of the possible save points for his adoptive daughter. Uh-huh. Yeah. And and Ahmed, you see the tiny shopkeep man. Scurry by really quick. He's in this map somewhere. Ooh. But you're not sure where. <laughs> so keep that in mind for next time. <laughs> Cabin, find me. I love the idea of him being like, I want each of the maps you'll have to find me. <laughs> Where's Weirdo? <laughs> Poor Dog Guard. Poor Dog Oh, Melvin's Bye. back. Melvin, he's run back. I have the writ. I have the writ right here. Is El Chad there? Or Data, are you still yeah. there? Yeah. All right. Absolutely. All right. The battle can commence. You're, you're fighting, right? Is that, is, that, is that what we're doing? That's it. Those boys. Is that what we're doing? Are we fighting? I mean, I really don't know. I mean, I'm not supposed to. Oh, oh dear. 
<laughs> like they're still stuck in face. Uh, El Chad's gonna drag over the barrel of vodka. <laughs> you drag this over. <laughs> yeah. I'm just gonna look at Shabethany and say, "All right, we drink it off, or we using wow. our fists." And no, it's not that way. I already know where you're going with that. <laughs> Seems yeah. like you fucking looked past my ruse. All right, we'll do this old fashioned then. And she slaps uh, Marine's ass. Oh, All right, we yeah. drinking off or are we fighting? I'm sick yeah. of the, just you. make a decision. I got a fucking hangover and I got to get stuff done. I want to get off this fucking island. Well, if I fight you, you won't be your face won't be pretty enough to afford to get off this island. So let's drink it. All right, that sounds like a challenge. She, and, okay, but just and he sh she shoves him to the ground again. He goes, "Get out of my way, you fucking butt munch!" <laughs> I I think it's love at first sight. Well, I think that. I think that maybe shut up, worm. <laughs> As we set up for the drink club, <laughs> where both El Chad and Shabethany will be drinking an entire fucking barrel of vodka. <laughs> Hope you're ready to fucking lose. Uh, That's her that paladin fits. aura. Toxic aura. Oh. <laughs> the aura of foul language and toxic behavior. <laughs> As we will slowly come to the end tonight, but we're going to cut to a quick little scene slightly away. Ooh, foreboding music. Is this foreboding or is it this one? Yeah, it's foreboding. That's foreboding too. They're it's foreboding. There we go. As as not and is running through the the forest, the jungle area of this island, having a, a grand old time. She suddenly stops having scurried away from Droga, having heard a voice that goes, Hi there. Want to be my friend? with kind of a mechanical whirling as Na is looking down at something. It's a strange creature. It's furry. Its ears and eyes seem to move maybe incongruent to one another. It has this strange mechanical voice as it goes, I'm Furloid, the beach buddy. You want to be my friend? Na... Stares down at Furloid and shakes her head yes emphatically before scooping it up in her arms and waving it around in the air. <laughs> yes! Oh! Don't count. yes! 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 Yay! Don't tell the others that we are buddies. We are secret. <laughs> <laughs> that is where we will end the night set. You just heard Drogo calling in the background. God damn it! <laughs> Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and stay tuned for the next exciting episode. I guess we're not into the storm anymore, but stay tuned to the Adventures Landing for more.